Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing really well. Today we are going to talk about skincare. Skincare, skincare, and more skincare. <laughs> I'm partnering up today with Cult Beauty. They are one of my favorite places to shop online for beauty, cosmetics, body care. I'm going to talk about my favorite picks from their annual Hall of Fame series. So we're going to get into different categories. I'm going to tell you guys what all of the nominee products are and then I'm going to share with you what my favorite ones from each category is. Talk about my experience with all of the products and tell you guys why I like each one. And I'm also going to show you how I use them I'm gonna apply them to my skin and yeah just talk about lots and lots of good skincare and cold beauty is a place where you guys know I shop for most of my beauty products they've got such a good selection of skincare makeup body care hair care even fragrance and home fragrance and things like that plus they ship worldwide they are a huge reason why I'm able to actually get my hands on a lot of these skincare products and makeup products that are normally not sold in the EU so cold beauty is amazing for that and I just love the company as a whole i love the whole community aspect to cult beauty and that's i think one of the main things that differentiates cult beauty with the other retailers is that connection that they have to the customer and it is actually their 11th birthday this month and they are celebrating by giving back to you guys so i have a few cool little things to share with you i have an exclusive discount code just for my audience which is really cool they're also doing a giveaway and there will be three different winners and then you guys can also go and vote for your favorite products exactly the ones that i'm going to talk about and when you're done voting there will be a little gift at the end so stay tuned for the discount code and also on how to enter the giveaway i'm going to talk about that at the end of the video and now let's get into these skincare products the first category is cleansers and particularly balm cleansers so the nominees are we've got the emma hardy moringa cleansing balm the second one is from pharmacy called the green clean and then the third is the the Drunk Elephant Sly Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. This was a really easy one. My favorite in this category is from Drunk Elephant. And the reason why I really love this and why I think it differs a lot from other cleansing balms is the way that it actually comes off of your skin. So a big reason why I love cleansing balms and I think why they're so popular is because they allow the makeup to just melt off of your skin. Of course, mascara, sunscreen, and just any pollutants and things that have gotten on your skin from the day you get a really deep cleanse with this but it's simultaneously very moisturizing and nourishing on the skin it almost feels like a hydrating mask but at the same time you're lifting and getting rid of all of that makeup and debris and things on your skin what the difference is though with this one that i really love is that when you put water onto your skin it kind of transforms to this like milky texture and then it just rinses off whereas with a lot of traditional cleansing balms, you do need to have a washcloth or something to actually remove the product from your skin. So I really like with this one that it just washes off with water. And then I would go in with my second cleanse as usual to just really, really deep clean my skin. It's also enriched with different fruit extracts, which are rich in antioxidants. And it's also got some nourishing plant oils in here as well. So an overall really, really great product. Let's move on to the acid category. So these are the nominees. First up, we have the Pixie Glow Tonic. The second one is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel. And the third is from Alpha H. It's their Liquid Gold. My favorite in this category has to go to Pixie. This is, again, the Glow Tonic. This is a new bottle, and it's a little travel mini size, which I think is really cute. You guys know that I love a good exfoliating toner, and this has 5% glycolic acid. Glycolic acid is really good. I think it's actually considered to be the holy grail of exfoliating acids because of the size of the molecule so it's a really really small molecule which allows it to penetrate deep down into the skin and exfoliate without causing a lot of irritation there are a lot of brands that make glycolic acid toners but I like this one because it's affordable it's alcohol free as well it does also contain witch hazel it also has aloe vera which helps to moisturize the skin it's also got ginseng and as I mentioned it is alcohol free which both of the other nominees are not. So if that's a concern for you, then the Pixie one is alcohol free. Let's move on to the next category, which is serums. So the nominees in this category are the Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. We've got the Inkey List Polyglut 
glutamic acid <laughs> not sure if i'm pronouncing that correctly and then the third one is from dr barbara sturm the hyaluronic serum i wonder if you guys can already guess which is my favorite out of these three it has definitely got to be the drunk elephant c firma day serum so this is a serum with vitamin c it's actually got 15 percent l absorbic acid it also contains ferulic acid and vitamin e which help to keep the vitamin c stable i would say vitamin c is one of the best ingredients that you can use for your skin regardless of what age you are what your skin concern is it just has such a huge host of benefits it's primarily an antioxidant which helps our skin to protect itself from environmental stressors like pollution sun exposure toxins and things like that it's also the precursor for collagen production and as we age our collagen production just naturally slows down so it's really nice to use products that kind of help help your skin and help your body to maintain that collagen. Aside from it being an antioxidant and helping with collagen production, it's a really great ingredient to help to brighten the skin tone if you have hyperpigmentation, scarring, or sunspots or any discoloration in your skin. Vitamin C has been proven to really brighten the skin tone. So this would definitely be my favorite out of all of the three, but I do want to give a little bit of love to these two as well. First, let's talk about the one from Dr. Barbara Strum. Hyaluronic acid in general is such a great ingredient to use in your skincare as well. I believe this holds up to 1,000 times its weight in water, so it attracts water from the surrounding air and traps it onto your skin. It's super, super moisturizing, but it's a very lightweight ingredient, so it's not like an oil or a cream. If you still want to have a really hydrating um, serum, but you don't want to spend it that much money that one is definitely really really pricey there is also this one from the inky list this was also a nominee again this is the polyglutamic acid and it's actually been proven to be four times more effective than hyaluronic acid at attracting and retaining moisture on the skin and the price tag on this is a lot lower but it still really works and i've been using this for the last few weeks and i really really love it the next category is oils so the nominees for this are the Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Night Oil. The second is from The Ordinary. It's the 100% organic cold pressed rosehip seed oil. And the third is the Vintner's Daughter Active Botanical Serum. I actually love all of these products. You guys have heard me talking about all of them in different videos over the last few years. Um, the Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Night Oil is a retinol in an oil formula. That product was actually my introduction to retinol years and years ago. I used to just mix it into my moisturizer and I would apply it all over and then the retinol would work its magic at night when I was sleeping. I really, really love that and I think it's a great product to use if you're just getting into retinol because it's not too, too harsh. I don't have one of those to show you because I am using other products right now, but I do have both of these ones, which are huge, huge loves of mine as well. There are some similarities, but there are a few differences as well. So this one from The Ordinary, this is just a one ingredient for formula. It's 100% cold pressed rosehip seed oil. This is an amazing oil to use if you have more sensitive acne prone skin. If you're worried that your skin might break out when using different oils, then I would go for this one. It contains different vitamins, antioxidants. It also has linoleic acid, which is an omega-6, and linolenic acid, which is an omega-3, plus provitamin A, which is of course really good for regenerating the skin. That's basically what retinol is, is a vitamin A. So it's a really nice ingredient to help to combat the effects of photo aging, of too much sun exposure, and it's just a generally really soothing and replenishing ingredient for the skin. So I love this one, plus it's from The Ordinary. The price of this is nine pounds, and I believe in the US it's also around like the $10 mark. So it's a really affordable product, and it works really well. And then the Active Botanical Serum from Vintner's Daughter. This is like heaven in a bottle. It smells absolutely incredible. It contains 22 of the world's most active organic botanicals and it targets a whole host of different skin concerns like lack of elasticity, fine lines, wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, and this is definitely a cult product. So many people have raved about this and I believe that the hype is true. I've been using this for years. It's been featured in lots of my skincare videos. Now the only thing is that it's a little bit pricey. I believe this is around 175 British pounds, which I think is around 
around like the 200 US dollar mark so it's definitely up there in price let's move on to the next category which are eye serums so the nominees in this category are the drunk elephant sea tangle multivitamin eye cream the next is from dr. Dennis gross it's the ferulic and retinol eye serum and the third is the Niod fractionated eye contour concentrate so I actually have all of these three products right here and I do love them all there are some big differences differences though between all of these for example this first one from drunk elephant I love this one I have also mentioned it in a few of my other skincare videos I really love it because of the vitamin C in here so again it's very brightening for the under eyes but it's done in a way where it's not going to be too irritating for the sensitive skin underneath your eyes it's got a blend of eight different peptides and five forms of vitamin C and cucumber extract which helps to brighten and Firm the skin so overall I would say that this one is my favorite I think it's a great kind of all-arounder and you get some really nice um, hydrating and effective ingredients in here now if you're looking for something to address more fine lines and wrinkles around the eyes then both of these are really great options the one from dr. Dennis has retinol inside retinol is one of the only ingredients which is proven to help to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and I think the formulation of this is really nice as well and then this one from Niod I've actually really Really enjoyed using this as well the formulation on this is unlike any other eye cream that I've tried it's actually a little bit more like a serum so it's has a very watery type of consistency I will do a close-up so you guys can see but it's kind of like yeah like very watery but that allows it to soak really deep into the skin I wouldn't say it's like the most hydrating eye cream but I use it for the ingredients so for the antioxidants that are in here it's actually got 28 clinical ingredients that are targeted for darkness puffiness and fine lines so I really do love this and if you want to try a different type of eye cream you kind of want to it's kind of like an eye serum I would say then this is really really cool so moving on to the next category which is masks so the nominees are the summer Fridays jet lag mask the goop exfoliating instant facial and the third is the sand and sky brilliant skin purifying pink clay mask two of these I've been using for a really long time and I really love and those are the goop instant exfoliating facial and the one from summer Fridays both of these are really nice it just depends on what you want out of your mask so the one from goop for example is a really really intensive resurfacing treatment it looks like this it will tingle and it will burn a little bit so it's a very very strong formula and um, you only want to leave it on for about 30 seconds to maximum two minutes this again has a blend of AHAs and BHAs which will help to resurface the top layer of your skin all of the ingredients in this are organic and all of the products in her line this is um, Gwyneth Paltrow's line they are more on the natural side as well which you guys know that I really like and then of course the jet lag mask is meant to really hydrate and nourish your skin so it's completely on the opposite scale of this one but I would say if I could just pick one I would go for this one because I think resurfacing and exfoliating your skin with a chemical exfoliant is really really important it can help with so many different skin issues like acne oily skin hyperpigmentation unevenness in skin tone etc etc of course if you are using it make sure to follow it up with lots of hydrating ingredients to lock in the moisture afterwards but yes I would definitely recommend this just be careful because it's really strong and then on to the last category which are skincare tools so the nominees for this category are the Dr. Dennis Gross DRX Spectra Light Facewear Pro. The second is the Foreo Luna Mini 2 Facial Cleansing Brush. And the third is the Zip Nano Current Skincare Device. This is the craziest, but <laughs> one of the coolest skincare products that I think exist. This is of course the one from Dr. Dennis Gross. This is um, a light therapy. I'll turn it on so you guys can see what it looks like. So it's got 100 red lights. The red helps to stimulate the natural production of collagen and elastin to reduce wrinkles, sunspots, sun damage, and redness. And then it's got 62 blue lights, which look like that. The blue light helps to destroy the strain of the acne-causing bacteria and it also helps prevent future breakouts. And then you can press 
three times and you can get the red and blue lights together. When I go to get my facials done, they do use a blue and red light on my skin at the end of the treatment. So again, the red light is really good for helping to stimulate collagen and elastin production. And then the blue light is really good for killing those um, acne causing bacteria and helping to prevent breakouts. So I am a huge fan of them just in general. And now it's really cool that you can get that kind of similar effect at home with a product like this. I do also have the Zip tool, which is a facial muscle toning tool. <laughs> it uses nanocurrents to stimulate the muscles in your skin to again, just prevent the loss of um, like tension and firmness in your skin. So a tool like this is also cool, but if I could only just pick one product, it would have to go to the Foreo. I think this is such a great tool. I did use the Clarisonic for a really long time but I prefer how this one is antibacterial in that the material on this is 100% silicone. It's completely hygienic. It's also 100% waterproof, so you can take this in the shower, which is what I usually do. And it has T-sonic pulsation, so you turn it on like that, and it vibrates. And what it does, it helps to really, really clean your skin very deeply. I also like the fact that it's kind of massaging my skin and like buzzing my skin. So I feel like more blood flow and nutrients are getting to all of my skin cells. So I really like that. Plus you get an incredible cleanse um, when you use this with your regular cleanser. So those are all of my picks for all of these categories. Let me know if you guys have had any experience with any of these products. If you like them, what your favorite it was let me know down below i want to share the discount code that i have exclusively for you guys which is really exciting the code is going to be for 15 percent off it is cb annie and i will make sure to have that in the description box as well there is also a giveaway there will be three winners and the prize will be a 500 pound gift certificate on anything again on the cold beauty website the giveaway will take place on instagram and if you want to enter you just have to repost the this template on your IG stories. The questions range from what your favorite product at Cold Beauty is to what's on your wish list. Just fill in the categories that are applicable to you. The template will be available on my Instagram story, so you can just screenshot that and then repost it. And it will also be, of course, on Cold Beauty's Instagram as well. And that is it. So once you fill that out, you are entered to win a gift certificate for 500 pounds to spend on Cold Beauty. There will be three winners. It's open internationally. I would love if you guys also voted on Cold Beauty for your favorites. I will have a link down below where you can go and put in your favorites and then at the end you'll also get a little surprise gift. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting to hear my thoughts and opinions on a lot of these really popular um, skincare products. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.